Hey, wallaby dick. You're a long way from home, what are you up to? Welcome to another episode of Tazcast. Today, we are chasing the elusive sturgeon. Now, these guys aren't actually hunted for their meat. They are, however, hunted for their caviar. We're not gonna be keeping any of these guys today, but uh, just catch and release here in Mission BC, a long way from home. The white sturgeon is a large, ancient fish species found primarily in North America. It can reach lengths of up to 20 feet and weigh over 1,500 pounds, which is about 680 kilos, making it one of the largest freshwater fish in North America and around the world. White sturgeon have long cylindrical bodies and a distinctive snout-like mouth. Their white patterns on top of their spine are absolutely awesome and they flare out when the sun hits their skin. Fishing for these is like catching a dinosaur from thousands of years ago, except they're still here and they're not extinct. And they live in the water, so I guess they're not really dinosaurs? They're bottom feeders, using their sensitive barbels to detect small fish, invertebrates, and plants. White sturgeon are anadromous, meaning they migrate between freshwater and saltwater habitats for spawning. Today, we're fishing on the Fraser River, the white sturgeon capital of the world. Their populations have declined due to overfishing and habitat degradation, and as a result, white sturgeon are now considered a threatened species. Luckily, here on the Fraser River, you can't keep these creatures and they are protected. So without further ado, let's get fishy, and hopefully we can cross paths with one of these dinosaurs. Much like all of our other fishing adventures, our first objective this morning is to get some bait. So we're going to try and get some live bait, some little pike minnow, and uh, yeah, then we'll head off to the fishing ground. So let's see if we can find them. Well, we've been on the grind for a little bit to get some bait, and we've finally done it. Well done. It kind of looks like a uh, little whiting, but what is that, a pike? That's a pike minnow. Pike minnow. Also known as a squawfish. An interesting fact, where we are, we're actually not allowed to live bait either. After getting a few species for bait, it was time to put some meat in the water. And I tell you what, it didn't take long. Wow. Yeah, because some, sometimes they jump. Yeah, right. Wow. Might be coming up here. Yeah, you can tell by looking at the line. All right, so we've been here for about half an hour. Hooked up. So the closer that fish gets to the boat, yeah. you want to get your rod up higher and then fight him down low. Yeah. He's got some weight on him. And then if he goes under the boat, <clears throat> you put the rod up in your ass. Yeah, right. Wow. Yeah, because that gives you, I mean, you, there's nothing you can do except just cope Yeah, with it, just right? bite. Far out, he's big. And the fish has to be over there. So that's why doing this is good because your line doesn't go on the. Uh. Your line doesn't rub on the hole. Yeah. He's over here. Yeah. Wow, eat. That's some pretty tight drag too. You've probably got at least 10 kilos of drag on there. Uh, he's gonna come up. Oh, he's come up. He must jump. He's jumping. Oh. There he is. Almost. I'd say the drag on there is probably uh 40 to 50 pounds. Really? Like, like 20 to 25 kilos. Come here, you wallaby dick. Nope. Never mind. I was like, oh yeah, make you a bit of ground. Never mind. Oh, there he is, oh my gosh. Wow. We oh, oh, oh. can't do anything until that fish goes upside down. Because the mouth was wow. on the bottom. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. You can't lead her in from there. <laughs> nice little workout, huh? What a beautiful creature. Look at that. Oh, thank you, buddy, for your fight. What a beautiful, beautiful creature. 
Yeah. Uh, nah. Yeah. <laughs> Righto. How's that? First sturgeon. Took a few minutes to get in. Uh, time for a nice little graceful release. We don't keep these guys here. Look at the beautiful colours on him. See you later. Holy moly. First sturgeon. That was incredible. Cool little bite too. Sort of came up to it and after seeing his mouth and how it sort of protrudes out, you can see how that initial tap happened and then just kind of set itself. Yeah, had to go a little bit easy on him on the, in the start and uh, yeah, we managed to get him up. Nice little clean release, that's what we want. Well, there you go. I hope you learned a thing or two about the white sturgeon. These are absolute river monsters that deserve to be protected. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss a video and drop a comment down below if you've ever caught a sturgeon or if you'd like to go fishing for them. Also, let me know the size of that big bad boy.